Hello everyone. Uh, this is going to be a video. <coughs> excuse me about um, customizing Outlook forms and uh, how to develop kind of for Outlook. Now you may find it that you have special requirements for Outlook. For example, you need to record uh, certain people's informations and fields, uh, customary fields and stuff like that. And I'm going to show you two ways to customize Outlook. Well, first let's head on to our file tab, and uh, I'm using Outlook. 2010 and I'm going to click on options uh, and in options I'm going to head over to customize ribbon and you'll see here that there is a tab as a checkbox here that it usually comes unchecked it's called developer okay so let's check that box now I already had it checked but I'm just letting you know when you enable the developer tab and you click OK when you go to create a new email you're going to see you will now have a developer tab up here so when you click this developer tab you'll see that you have the ability to customize this form and as a matter of fact you'll be able to customize any form uh, in Outlook it's a really really nice powerful tool uh, that allows you to add additional fields so I'm going to uh, design the email form for example I'm going to click on design this form and you'll see here to my right I have a field chooser and that's going to allow me to put in any fields that I want into this email message uh, and it's also going to allow me to create new fields. So for example, when I cr create a new field, you'll see it asks me what type of field do I want to make. A uh, string, a text only, a number, which is numeric only, a percentage, a currency, which is a dollar value, a yes or no, which is just a drop down with a yes or no, uh, date and time, duration keyword, combination formula, and lastly, integer. Uh, I'm not going to create a new field. I'm going to show you guys just how to add your own field. Now you'll see here I can actually change the size of the boxes of everything so I can just grab on this box move it aside for example um, and I can let's say take the category field and drag it right over to our form. Uh, let's add in the created in here as well. Uh, let's add in the due date. Let's continue by adding in the secondary message form. So now I have two uh, message boxes. As a matter of fact, that part was useless because I already have a message box to my right, right? So I don't really need it. So I just created some form, and I'm going to publish this form, and I'm going to select Publish Form As, and I'm going to save it as Untitled. Now I'm going to show you something very cool. When I exit here and I go to New Item, instead of clicking New Mail, I'm going to click on New Items, and I'm going to select More Items, the very end, and I have here the Choose Form uh, option in my drop down. So I'm going to select choose form and I'm going to go to my personal form library where I have my untitled form and here is the form I just designed. Now it looks like crap because I haven't put any time into it. I just quickly made some changes uh, and you'll see that I can actually write an email and put in these fields and when the email returns or when I go to the form sent mail I'll see all the fields that I put in. So this is just an easy way of, of uh, customizing a form uh, remember that developer tab is very very powerful uh, let's go to my X for example uh, and I'm gonna click on Zach over here uh, as a good buddy of mine and I'm gonna click on developer and I'm going to click on design the f this particular form and you'll see that I'm able again to add my own fields to this form and customize it and this is just contacts from LinkedIn I mean this is nothing really out of the ordinary but the magic that I want to show you guys actually is in Business Contact Manager, which is extremely powerful uh, tool for Outlook. Um, I'm going to go to my content management and I'm going to create a new business contact. Now let's say I am, for example, a tire company. Uh, let's say I'm a tire company and I sell tires and this person, John Doe, just purchased uh, 50 tires for me and I want to be able to keep that in the history but not in notes. I want to be able to run reports on this field uh, and do all this good stuff. I can actually go to this button right here which is the form layout button uh, and I can click on add fields and create a new and I'm going to create a new text field called uh, numbers of tires purchased. and I'm going to add it to my form uh, and I'm going to actually add it all the way down to as a matter of fact I'll even add a brand new section here I'm going to click on add section and I'm going to name this section um, business and inside of this section I'm going to put in my number of tires purchased field and I'm going to save and close this form 
Outlook is going to publish it directly into Business Contact Manager. Uh, and I'm going to close this. And I'm going to create my contact again. And this time, you'll see I have a field here called Numbers of Tires Purchased. So I could put in here John Doe. And I could say he purchased 100 tires from me. And I can save and close this form. Now the very beauty of this is I can actually add that field right here into my view and I can customize this in a way where I'm able to see it at all times. So here I have John Doe and here I see numbers of tire purchased and I'm able to see that John purchased a hundred tires and I can actually have a running list. And this comes very useful with reports also. When I click on reports in Business Contact Manager you'll be able to see that if I go to my business contacts and I say give me a quick report on my business contact list I can actually filter this out and say show me customers who only purchased a um, hundred tires so number of tires purchased equals 100 and you're gonna see John Doe is going to pop up immediately and I can just click right into his account and I'm able to see it modify it so this is just a quick example about um, how really strong and powerful Outlook is now to break into the tutorial beyond development, um, you'll see here through the options you're able to add any account that you'd like. You can have up to, I believe, a hundred emails account, emails account, um, accounts into Outlook. Uh, you have a really powerful uh, junk um, spam remover in Outlook. You can actually flag things that are not good emails, and it'll block that person forever. Um, you have full support. Uh, from Microsoft uh, in case you have any, any, ever have any issues and TechNet is really wonderful and they're really able to assist you when you need help um, but again Outlook is only as good as you make it uh, out to be as you develop it as you tailor it for your business uh, part of what I do is uh, I create custom Outlook forms and custom Outlook uh, deployments for companies to be able to store their information in there uh, and run reports and pretty much run their whole business or entire contact management with Outlook. Um, so I, I hope this video brought some insight to you on, uh, on the development scope. I know I didn't really show you much but this is a really good start. Uh, business Contact Manager is free. Actually it is absolutely free for anybody who, who had purchased Outlook previously uh, with the Office suit from uh, Microsoft. So if you actually Google uh, let me Google this and I'll show you where to get it right now. It is an amazing tool, amazing tool. Uh, I'm going to go to Google and I'm just going to simply type in uh, Business Contact Manager 2010. And I'm only using tw version 2010, so you're aware. I'm not using anything but version 2010. Um, you'll be able to see here the first link from Office at Microsoft.com. I'm actually, I'll be able to download this directly from Microsoft. It is absolutely free. Uh, and it is it is actually very 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 awesome so in case you ever have questions or anything about this kind of thing you can always email me um, you can email support at dangerstudio.com or uh, elon at dangerstudio.com as a matter of fact if you go to my website you can actually read more about business contact manager actually actually put a post in here uh, Microsoft Outlook with Business Contact Manager 2007-2010 and everything that it has to offer for you. So, I mean, it is it is a great, great tool. Uh, highly recommend it. And I uh, hope this video taught you guys something. Thank you for watching and tune in for more great videos. Thank you.